we can start bro hello everyone good evening how are you all so yes who all are present here i'm waiting for your attendance and today we'll be discussing inventions and discoveries these this particular topic is very important because in the examination you might get the question for some of the discoveries part for some of the inventions and yes some of the instruments that how they're actually used and what kind of instruments are they so yes let's start with our discussion so here we'll be going with the theoretical part and in the ending we'll be having discussion on previous year questions fine so yes let's start with the first part first of all if i'll talk about these inventions and discoveries we always are in the situation of dilemma sir is there any difference between invention and discovery so let me tell you if i talk about the inventions and discoveries there's a difference because if i talk about the invention this means this particular thing was actually brought into the into the market by some sort of experiments which was not previously present but if i talk about discoveries what are they they were actually uh, they were actually there always but there was a person or there were people who actually did what they actually came into uh, came to know about its existence and they understood about it they studied it and then they brought it towards us that is towards other people so okay without any delay let's start first of all if i talk about automatic calculator so who was the one who actually discovered this or who invented this because yes that's not the discovery it's the invention so we'll talk about the automatic calculator it was actually invented by wilhelm shikard so wilhelm shikard was the one who has actually invented it but the thing is that there are many things which can be easily understood with the trick so wherever we can apply the trick we'll be applying that and the most important part is see there are many inventions and many discoveries so wherever you feel like sir it is quite difficult you can let me know i can create the trick for each and every part fine okay so if i talk about air conditioners important one right so if i talk about the summer seasons so we need this acs we have seen this acs in the classrooms in the offices and in our homes also so yes if i talk about air conditioners so it was discovered by whom so it was discovered by carrier who was the willis carrier now is there any trick to remember this yes it's absolutely there if i talk about ac just imagine the scenario there is no ac right now in our home for example now father says it's quite hot let's bring an ac you will be saying okay let's bring the ac but we will keep it that is if i'll bring my ac from a shop to my home should i need something yes i need that what is that i need to put that ac on the carrier so that i can bring it to my home <coughs> it's just a trick it's just a trick to remember this what i need i'll put this ac on the cycle's carrier or on my bike's carrier and i'll bring it so just use that word carrier now again i am saying you can create these type of stories so that you can easily relate it in the mains examination so yes we have navnita here hello navnita how are you good evening so yes if i talk about ac it was willis carrier who has actually discovered it and the trick to remember it would be if i'll bring the ac from the shop to my home i need a carrier on which i'll be keeping it so from carrier i can remember this but the important fact is if i talk about this air conditioner see the uh, uh, in the earlier days the air conditioners which were manufactured they used to release there were gases that were cfcs the full form of cfc is chlorofluorocarbons now this is from chemistry part but we are trying to link it these cfcs were doing what they were depleting the ozone which is having the formula o3 one more thing is here if i talk about this ozone layer please remember the width of ozone is measured with one of the unit and i guess you all remember that navnita do you remember the unit in which we are measuring the width of this ozone if you remember can you just type it in the comment section and everyone who has joined the session kindly let me know your names so that i can start talking to you and we'll be going into the depth yes so i'm talking about this air conditioners they are including cfcs not only acs they are refrigerators as well now this cfcs are doing what they are depleting the ozone part no now another question which is asked what is the formula for ozone that is o3 and this ozone is depleting the layer right but there must be some width of this ozone so how we are going to measure this so we'll talk about the measurement of this ozone layer please remember it is measured in dobson so dobson is actually the unit in which we measure the width of ozone fine so let's back come back to the point so we were discussing about the air conditioner so it was discovered by willis carrier next next comes your anemometer where is it used 
anemometer is used in measuring the wind speed. What? Wind speed. Now, who was the one who has discovered this? So, anemometer was discovered by Leon Battista Alberti. Now, if I'm talking about this anemometer, please remember, both the questions are asked. Who discovered it and where it is used? Yeah, that's true, Navrita. Navrita, I, I guess I'm getting your comments quite late. So, can we refresh it? I'm getting comments quite late. Yeah. So, this is about anemometer. Next comes your animation. Now, where we have seen this animation, if I talk about this animations, we have seen these animations in our TVs, right? Where we can talk about cartoons, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, we have seen that. So, if I talk about these animations, who has actually discovered it? So, he was J. Stott Blackton. Now, what is the trick to remember this? There was a movie in which we were having Stott Little. Remember that small mouse which was there? So, the small mouse was what? Stott Little. We all remember that. We all are from that phase. So, from Stott Little, we can remember Stott. So, Stott was the one who has created the animation. Fine. So, okay. Next. And everyone is requested to kindly like this session and share it. Everyone who is there online, kindly like it and share it. And yes, next comes atom bomb. So, I have trick for this atom bomb as well. Who was the one who has discovered this atom bomb? So, he was open humor. Now, I have a trick here again. If I talk about, yeah, start little. Remember, na? Yeah, that's true. So, yes, I was talking about atom bomb. See, what will happen if this atom bomb explodes? So, happy is here. Hello, happy. Good evening. So, happy, I was telling about atom bomb. You understand what is bomb? I guess you remember. Fine. So, yes, if I talk about these bombs, if this bomb explodes, what is going to happen? People will die. What will happen? People will die. In Hindi, we, what we say? We say that, log mar jayenge. What I am saying? Log mar jayenge. So, see, log mar jayenge. That is open he mar. So, we will say, or marenge kitne? They will be in the large amount. That is, high amount mein log mar jayenge. So, just remember this. High mar. So, in the examination, when you will getting, you will be getting this question. Atom bomb. So, what will happen? If it explodes, in the large amount, people will die. That is, high mar. So, you can remember from this part, that is, his name is Julius Robert. Open humor that is open high mer. So, from this part, you will be remembering atom bomb. Got my point? Let's move forward with the next part. Next is aspirin. Now, aspirin's example would be your disprin, or you can talk about seridon. Where we are using it? We are using it in order to get relief from the pain, right? So, if I talk about this aspirin, so he was Dr. Felix Hoffman. Now, if I talk about this aspirin, these are the medicines where we are talking about disprins and all. Fine. Next. Airplane. Everyone remembers this. If I talk about airplanes, who are they? They were Wright, brother, Wright brothers. And we remember this Wright brothers. But actually, there were two brothers. One is Olive Wright and another one is Wilbur Wright. So, Wilbur and Orville were the brothers and their surname was Wright. That's why we say that Wright brothers has actually discovered airplane. So, all these things are clear to everyone. Everyone who has present here, kindly give thumbs up and let me know. If you want to know any other trick, just let me know. We can create any of the tricks. Fine. But please remember all these things as these are asked in the examinations. So, we are moving forward and everyone is requested to kindly give me thumbs up so that I can start moving forward and we will be discussing another fact. Next. Let's discuss about adhesive tape. We all use these tapes, right? Where we can talk about our papers whenever they are torn or we are talking about any book. So, if there is torn, we use those tapes, right? So, this ad adhesive tape must be discovered by someone. So, who was he? Adhesive tape was uh, discovered by Richard D. Drew. Now, Richard G. Drew was the one who has discovered this adhesive tape. Now, talking, talking about bifocal lens. Bifocal lens. Where if there is an issue in the eye, where we cannot see anything in the proper manner, we use this bifocal lens. Now, let me tell you, there are several issues with the eye. One issue can be, where we can talk about hypermetropia. Hyper metropia. Now, this hypermetropia is actually the farsightness. Farsightness. Now, see, whatever is written here will not be correct. Now, you must be thinking, sir, what you are saying? It will not be correct. It's actually vice versa. If I'm talking about farsightness, that means the person who is suffering from this issue, that is hypermetropia or farsightness, he will not be able to see the objects which are nearby clearly. That is, Nearby objects cannot be seen clearly in this scenario. If I talk about metropia, if I talk about metropia, this is what? This is near sightness. Near sightness. And this is the issue in which, again, I'll say the same thing. It is just opposite. We are talking about near sightness. In this, you will not be able to see far away objects clearly. 
got my point but if i talk about a issue that is press biopia just a second if i talk about press biopia now see from the word by we can understand we are talking about two two issues which are all together so in this manner if i talk about press biopia in this condition what is going to happen there would be issue in which we are facing both the things uh sorry 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 it's not metropia it was myopia my mistake my error it was myopia i was actually okay yeah that's myopia so yes if i talk about press myopia we have both the issues here that is if i talk about a lens then we have lens quite like this where if i talk about a lens in which we are talking about the people of old age what happens we have seen that they are having the lens in such a manner where there is something that seems like painted something but no there there are two different type of lens which are actually helpful in reading the news, newspaper because when they'll read newspaper their eye would be quite here right their eye uh, would be moving downwards direction that's why it is like this if they want to see the far behind objects so they'll be using this part that's why these are bifocal lenses and bifocal lenses are used for the press biopia part got my point so yes these are the three important points from human eye part let's move forward now yeah so we were talking about bifocal lens and they, it was uh, actually discovered by benjamin franklin next next comes a barometer barometer is actually used for what barometer is actually used for the measuring the pressure which pressure atmospheric pressure fine so yes this was barometer now who has discovered this barometer he was torricelli and you must be thinking sir torricelli we have read somewhere yes you have read it where when we were discussing about our pre uh, pressure fine so yes torricelli was the one who has discovered the barometer next comes barbed wire so barbed wire was discovered by joseph f gladden then a very important question from the bio part if i talk about blood group very important in the examination it is asked many times uh yeah that's true air pressure so or we can talk about atmospheric pressure navnita it is one and the same thing yes i was talking about blood group right so if i talk about blood group we are aware of uh, again i'll write here if i talk, rock, uh, talk about blood group it is a b ab and o in which we are having four different blood groups if i'll talk about rh factor again if i'll talk about rh factor then this means these blood groups will be divided into two parts that is the positive and negative ones and hence we will be having eight that is a positive a negative b positive b negative ab positive ab negative and o positive o negative in which if i'll talk about ab it is universal recipient if i'll talk about o it would be universal donor now please remember this part o is actually not a universal donor the universal donor is o negative because o positive cannot give blood to o negative but o negative can give blood to anyone that's why o negative is exactly we can say that it is universal donor please remember this part okay i'll come back to this point says so, who was the one who had discovered this so he was carl landsteiner okay so this was blood group which was discovered by carl landsteiner then comes a ball point pen ball point pen who was the one who had discovered the ball point pen so he was john loud fine we say na action speaks louder than words so if i'll talk about these actions so i want you all to be at that position who can actually use green pen that is your green pen would be speaking much louder than all the people who are standing in the crowd fine so yes action speaks louder and how that those actions are going to come using that pen green colored pen i guess you are aware of what i'm talking about so yes ball point it will speak loud so Do john loud is the one who has discovered the ball point pen so all these tricks will be helpful in remembering this part fine Le next if i talk about bicycle tires so we'll talk about bicycle tires it was john boyd dunlop so dunlop we have seen that if i talk about mattresses uh, there's a company that is dunlop so yes a uh, pen is might uh, sorry pen is mightier than sword that's true that's true absolutely so yes this was the one now can you tell me if i talk about the bicycle that is the bicycle which uses the pedal who was the one who has discovered this bicycle pedal one so yes waiting for the answer then i'll move forward so i'm talking about the bicycle pedaled bicycle who was the one who has actually discovered it yeah i guess this we have uh, studied in the fourth standard right yeah so if i'll talk about the bicycle which was with the pedals that will be macmillan we'll be having that again okay let's move forward now next comes 
पेडल ड्रिवेन बाइसिकल एंड यस दिस वॉज द्वेश्चन विच आई आस्ट वॉज ई ही इज मैक मिलियन वी हैव रिमेंबर दिस पार्ट If I talk about pedal bicycle, bulb, all these we have studied in the fourth and fifth standard, and yes, these questions are asked again in this competition world. Okay, now let's talk about celluloid. Celluloid was discovered by Alexander Parks. Next, chloroform. Chloroform was discovered by Sir James James Young Simpson. Then comes the cine camera. This is the same camera which is used in the cinematography. That is, whatever movies you are seeing now, they are using camera for shooting and all. So yes, if I talk about the cine camera, who was the one? So he was Greene. <laughs> he was Greene. Next, circulation of blood. Now if I talk about the circulation of blood, what is happening here? There's a heart which is actually having four chambers, right? And because of the presence of heart, the blood circulation is actually taking place in our body. Remember, four parts: right one, right auricle, then right ventricle. This one, left auricle. left ventricle we have discussed all or discuss all these things so yes if i talk about the circulation who was the one he was william harvey and actually that time experiment was conducted on a horse okay let's come back to our point so he was william harvey who had discovered the circulation of blood now talking about the mechanical clock so for discovering the mechanical clock it was hing and ling sen now what's the trick for remembering this if i talk about a clock Yeah, if I talk about circulations, Namnita, there are of two type of blood circulation. That is open and closed. For the open circulation, circulatory system, there is no such vessel-like structure. That is, we are talking about pipe-like structures. There are no arteries and veins. But if I talk about this open circulatory system, there you can talk about any of the organism. For example, you can talk about frogs and all. So if I talk about any of the organism in which those vessels are not there, open. If I talk about ourselves, closed, because we have arteries, veins, and capillaries okay let's be, get back to a point so i was talking about mechanical clock see whenever i i'll talk about clock this means we are talking about those uh, needles that is tick 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 what i'm saying tick 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 just try to relate that word tick tick here what is hing hing ling ling tick tick so you can remember this part from using this concept it's actually not a concept it's just a trick so yes hing and ling was the one who has discovered the mechanical clock next Talking about centigrade scale, the most simple one to remember because we know when we are talking about the temperature. Whenever we talk about the temperature, we have different scales. Remember, degree centigrade, degree Fahrenheit, and one more is there that is Kelvin. Apart from these particular part, can you tell me is there anything else through which we can measure this? Ah, uh, see, we are not. we are not talking about those open vessels i am talking about if there is no there is no such vessels which are present if it is flowing freely that would be a open circulatory system and whenever if you are talking about the open vessels also if they are actually open then obviously it is going to be what it is going to be the open circulatory as simple as that so yes i was talking about these scales where i am talking about the temperature degree centigrade degree fahrenheit and kelvin now can you tell me is there any other scale apart from these ones for measuring the temperature any one of these scale And yes, let's see who can give this answer. Everyone who is there in the session, can you just comment and tell me? Apart from degree centigrade, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin, which is that particular scale which can be used for measuring the temperature? Any one of them, or only these three are the one. I have two questions. One would be one more scale I want, and one is if I talk about the SI, SI unit for this temperature, what would be the answer? What is the SI unit of temperature, and what is one more scale which is actually missing? Yeah, that's true, Navnita. Totally correct. That is your Riemer scale. Yes. So yeah, if I talk about the SI unit, please remember, out of these options, only Kelvin is going to be the correct answer. Kelvin is actually the SI unit. Others are units, but SI unit is only one. We have SI units only one for each and everything, whether for the current ampere, or we can talk about length, that is meter. That's true, Navnita. Absolutely correct. So we have Riemer scale over here, and SI unit is Kelvin. Okay, let's come back to our part. So we'll talk about centigrade scale. So we know that degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, right? So from the name itself, it is derived. That is, Anders Celsius. Next, who discovered chlorine? He was Carl. Then talking about dynamite. Very important question. I'm marking here double star. Please remember, whenever we'll talk about dynamite. So dynamite was discovered by whom? He was Alfred Nobel. Please remember. Alfred Nobel. This question is asked many times. That's why I have given double star. Next, for the diesel engine, from the name itself, it is clear. Rudolf Diesel. That is, diesel engine was discovered by Rudolf Diesel. Actually, invented by. Next, 
talking about electric stove or cooker part which is the central part it looks like a wheel so from here we can actually try to relate it i guess the video is buffering is everything fine over there yes so here the correct answer will be wheeler next let's talk about electric battery so whenever we are talking about the battery the thing that comes into our mind is voltage correct so voltage from the voltage volta so just click on the answer volta then elevator elevator we have seen this in the mo uh, halls we have seen this in the um, we can take the example of a railway station or malls so yes elevator was discovered by elisha g otis talking about dc that is electric motor dc so this was uh, invented by thomas electromagnet so it was william sturgeon then fountain pen so he was petarke then fluorine he was andre mary then gramophone he was thomas edison now there's a question for you all if i'll talk about very basic one very basic let's see who can answer this very basic which everyone knows i guess who was the one who has discovered bulb can you tell me who was the one who has discovered bulb and second one because these questions are very basic one and it is asked actually and second one is radio so i want two answers bulb and radio so apart from namrita who all can answer this namrita i am sure that you will be able to give this answer for the both correct but let me be correct don't go with the wrong because i'll be having question answer session just after 10 10 more minutes but before that i want answer for this bulb and radio can you answer this who was the one who had discovered this bulb and radio and everyone who has joined the session kindly like it and share it and yes i want the answer from everyone can you tell me who discovered bulb very basic question we studied in the fourth or fifth standard first for the first time totally correct uh, navnita has told sir he was thomas edison and if i talk about the whole name absolutely correct navnita thomas elva edison totally correct but if i talk about radio can you give his name now this one is again important one because it is asked in the examination many times triple star here and double star here yeah so if i talk about radio so i'll give you scenario i'll tell you the scenario what used to happen right now a uh, mobile phones and these laptops tablets are quite common ipads but once upon a time when even tv was not there you whenever if i'll talk about those 90s era at that time this radio were very common if especially in the village area where we used to listen songs and those songs were not as common as as of now because right now whatever we song want to listen we can just google it out and just start listening it at that time what used to happen in this radio songs used to come after such a long time and whenever it used to come everyone used to just enjoy that part so i, I have a trick over here whenever song will come what we'll do we'll start da dancing right right so whenever we'll dance we'll use this elbows in hindi we call these elbows as koni correct so whatever whenever we'll dance and if the house is small and all the people are dancing what will happen this elbow will start struggling with the each and every person right so we'll say that please koni mat maar or koni ye bahut koni maar raha hai so we can relate it with that yeah you still uh, listen at air all india radio that's great that's great so you are actually moving that trend ahead ha huh? so okay you can relate it with that marconi so what i am saying when we were dancing this is the part that is you can remember this with you can break this part mar and koni it is actually in hindi i don't know how many of you are from the hindi medium so you can relate this part okay so that's true navneta and very happy that you are taking this trend ahead okay so this was marconi next moving forward with the next one next comes your hydrogen so who discovered hydrogen he was henry cavendish now comes a important one it is asked in the examination many times that is a helicopter if i'll talk about this helicopter so where does this helicopter fly obviously in the sky right so you can just have a look what whenever helicopter will be asked you will be getting in uh, four options and one of the option there would be a sky so we know that helicopter is actually used in the sky or they are actually flying in the sky so from the word sky itself you will be saying sir it is actually igor sirkovsky so yeah igor sirkovsky is the correct answer then hovercraft it was discovered by christopher cockrell then hot air balloons so do you, do you know what is hot air balloon you might have seen this in the movies where there is a basket type structure and above that there is a balloon in which we can actually roam around the city you can take talk the uh, 
take the example of a Goa or something like that. So yes, if I talk about hot air balloon, it was discovered by Joseph and Mont Golfier. Next, helium. Helium was discovered by Jules Jensen. Then comes your insulin. Now if I talk about insulin, can you please comment and tell me that everything is okay? Requiring comment so that I can move forward. Okay, so let me continue with that part. So we were asked about the animals, right? So if I talk about the animal, who once the issue is resolved, can you all comment me and let me know is everything fine so that we can continue. Is everything fine right now? So that we can continue. Requiring two minutes, just two minutes.